welcome back to my channel queen gem beauty and it's your girl queen gem back in the building to bring you guys another video so this video is going to be a sephora haul yes honey i picked up some goodies now this sephora haul is pretty much like a mixture of like i got a couple things when they have like the vib was it 20 percent off and then they have like the vib um sale that recently just passed where you spend 50 get 20 dollars off and i also went back to the store to pick up a couple more things when um i realized i was only like what 48 dollars from being a vib again i'm not vib rouge i'm just like the second vib I think it's Sephora Insider, Beauty Insider, and then VIB. So I'm just the regular old VIB, you know, with the little platinum card. You know, I ain't reached over there to the red card yet, which is good, okay? I'm trying to save some of my coins, and I throw them all into the makeup store, you know. But I went ahead and picked up a few items, and I just wanted to share with you guys the things that I picked up, just in case you guys want to go pick up some stuff. But a lot of this stuff was just kind of stuff that I have on a wish list, and I'm just slowly checking off my wish, wish list. So the first thing I want to show you guys this bad boy is super old okay everybody in their mama has talked about it but i had to have it i went ahead and picked it up and it is the urban decay moon dust palette and for those of you who don't know what the moon dust palette looks like it just looks just like this gorgeous packaging i absolutely love the packaging on this palette i'm a huge urban decay girl like you you guys are gonna laugh but i own not one Too faced eyeshadow not one i don't own a Too faced palette i don't own the peach palette i don't own the chocolate palette i don't own none of that i am a huge urban decay girl so i picked up this gorgeous palette and as you guys can tell it has some beautiful colors in here like this gorgeous duochrome that kind of gives you like that blue and green and then there's this green color right here which is called light year um magnetic which is absolutely gorgeous this blue up here which is called vega this is like a gorgeous palette and i actually am wearing it on my eyes today and the shadow that i have on my eye today is a lithium which is this color right here i'm in love with this palette i feel like it's a great way to use glitter on the eyes without overdoing it or having to use actual glitter if you have allergies like i do then this will probably save you a ton of watery eyes and allergy medicine okay so go ahead and pick up the moon dust because it is absolutely gorgeous the next thing i picked up was a foundation um i wanted to go ahead and pick up another bottle of this this is the nars velvet skin tint i really love this stuff i'm in the shade uh medium dark three this i think it's called martinique i honestly think i could go a little bit darker but i feel like if i go uh nars foundations on me their range like is really you know kind of wacky so like if i go one shade darker it's gonna be too dark so i just i rather stay here and just even it out with my powder i'm actually wearing it today and i actually really really love this stuff so if you guys have not tried the nars velvet skin tint i definitely suggest you pick it up the box does say that it has um spf of 30 um in it and it just wears really well on the skin so if you guys want a review of this or a demo of this it's been out for a while but if you guys still want to review or demo my personal opinions just let me know and then i picked up let's see what so it's the kat von d setting powder i had to have this stuff i saw a lot of people talking about it and to be honest i've already dipped in my setting powder i put it on today because i wanted to go ahead and test it out and i really really like it i have it underneath my eyes and some setting powders like i don't know i've always had these lines under my eye ever since i was a kid like I just had these lines under my eye and of course the older you get of course the more they're gonna get defined but I noticed that some setting powders just sit into those lines and it just looks crazy I'm looking like an old hag I am NOT about that life okay so I just went ahead and picked up this and I tested it out today and so far so good we're gonna give it a couple more tests you know with different foundation different concealers and see how it works but so far so good and again this shade it actually comes in translucent okay so the other thing that i picked up here that's big at least is the tartus pro palette i had to have this palette when i saw this palette i was like you know what i don't own any tart eyeshadows everybody has been talking about these like the tart um tart and bloom palette all those palettes and i was you know i was kind of hesitant on purchasing them but honestly you guys this this palette right here oh my god it is absolutely gorgeous i wore it the other day because i wanted to test the eyeshadows out 
I just couldn't keep my little grubby paws off of it, let's be honest. But you guys, this is what the eyeshadows look like. Are these eyeshadows not gorgeous? Literally, one of my favorites and one that really, really took me by surprise was this one eyeshadow right here in this corner. And it's called um, Ethereal, I think. That's how you pronounce it. It is so soft and so buttery and so freaking pigmented. That is literally like one swipe, you guys. Another shadow that took me by surprise is Whimsy. Um, and this is this shadow right here. Oh my god, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous like transition shade shade. If you're like my color or maybe a little bit darker, it's such a gorgeous transition shade. Ugh, transition shade. I can't talk, you guys. I'm so excited. And again, one little swipe and boom. You guys, these eyeshadows are so buttery. I feel like I've been missing out like on the Tarte eyeshadows. It, this is my first Tarte palette and I am in love. Like this palette is everything that I was looking for and I feel like it complements my other eyeshadow palettes really, really well. So yeah, I can't wait to dip into this baby a little bit more. And again, like I said, it's the Tardis Pro palette. I definitely got to bring y'all some tutorials with this one. And then the next thing I picked up, I picked up two lip um, sticks. Now, I really would have picked up more, but the Sephora that I went to didn't have, like, what I was looking for at all. They basically were not in stock yet, and the girl basically told me that I could just shop online, but honestly, I was like, you know what, I'd rather just wait until I can go in the store and swatch them, you know, on my hand and see really if I'm going to like the colors or not. So I just decided to wait, but there's one color in particular I knew I had to have of the Sephora Lip Creams, that's the product I'm talking about, and this one right here is dark forest if you guys don't know they launched like 40 new shades or something like that something crazy and I actually saw somebody swatch dark forest on YouTube and I was like you know what I'm gonna need this bad boy in my life because what it was giving me was straight up dr. M from Colourpop so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and swatch it with you guys and just so you guys know the Sephora lip creams um cream no the sephora cream lip stains that's what they're called they do have names okay so i have one that's in a shade i think it's zero one and it's called always red um they do have names so just in case you're like saying number 29 and people are like what is number 29 this is number 29 dark forest and you guys oh my god i'm so excited to wear this like oh actually it looks very, very close to my ColourPop one in Dr. M. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and swatch it so we can see how close it is. Like, if that's a dupe, because this is gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. So, I'm going to grab my uh, Dr. M, and I'll be right back. Okay, Jims, I'm back. So, here is my Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Dark Forest. And then, here is my ColourPop Dr. M, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Now, of course, Dr. M is $6, and the Sephora one is $14. But, you know, sometimes you guys don't want to wait on shipping or whatever and nope they're not the same I don't feel like they're the same Dr. Dr. M is more of an emerald green and Dark Forest is more of a forest like hunter green so they definitely are different they're kind of similar but I can see the difference but these are gorgeous oh I cannot wait to wear this y'all bomb.com I'm super excited the next lipstick I picked up now they were all the rave a few months back which was the uh, Urban Decay Vice lipsticks I tried on one like a while back and I didn't pick it up but this I just had been on my mind ever since and I needed a new lipstick because the matte red lipstick that I have in my collection which is Ruby Woo honey that is the driest lipstick on this side of earth like it suck, literally sucks all the moisture out of your lips. And you guys, I love a good matte lip. You guys know it can never do your girl wrong. But for some reason, that Ruby Woo one, out of all the matte ones that I have, even the other MAC matte ones I have, that one is just hella ass dry. So I went ahead and picked up a new one. And I picked up the Urban, Devi uh, Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in 714. It is a mega matte. I actually have it on right now. It's really comfortable. It glides on really, really smooth. And this is what it looks like. And of course, I have my lip liner all over it. But I'm going to give you guys a swatch of it. Ugh. 
oh my god this lipstick is so freaking gorgeous so beautiful such a beautiful red and it is like a true red pretty much what the color ruby Roo is it's like a true red and just very very gorgeous a blue based red and i love it so i picked that one up and then I picked up a concealer and I wanted to try out the Kat Von D concealer and the Kat Von D concealer I got is in Deep 33. Yeah, Deep 33. It's a warm shade. I did want the shade above that, but at the time the Sephora that I was at, they were out of the shade I wanted. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and use um, Deep 33. I don't think it would look that bad on me. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. But I still think it will work for highlighting purposes. And I'm super excited to try this concealer, excuse me, to try this concealer out because a lot of people have been saying how they um, love this concealer. So I'm just super excited to try it out. I love the packaging and I love Kat Von D products in general. So I had to go ahead and give this concealer a try. And last but not least, I have three more items I want to share with you guys. So I've been looking for a new foundation primer. I've been playing around with different primers. I have like a drugstore primer that I'm really liking right now. And I had one high-end primer that I was loving, which was the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. But I just wanted to try something different. And I heard a lot of good things about the Too Faced Hangover um, Face Primer. And it's silicone-free, which I absolutely love. Um primers on my face that are silicone free so I was super excited to try this out and it says it has coconut water in um in this product so I'm super excited to just try this out I tested it on the back of my hand in the store and it felt really really good it smells good so I'm excited to give this a try and then the next two things I picked up were I'm really into skincare lately whether it is face mask or under the eye mask i've been trying a bunch of different things but i wanted to go ahead and try the ones from sephora so i got an anti-age one and this one is an anti-aging um eye mask that i got um i've seen a lot of people trying these out and they say they really really love them so this one is the orchard eye mask and then i got a face mask as well and this one is the uh, moisturizing and smoothing and this one is the sephora uh lotus face mask so i went ahead and picked that up as well so i just got two little masks and i think these are like what six dollars a piece or something like that six or five dollars i thought it was not too bad of a deal um i just wanted to try something out especially for skincare i've been trying to step my game up now the last thing i want to show you guys is something that i got because i had quite a few reward points your girl is shopping at sephora and i haven't really spent my rewards in like a long time like because i haven't really seen a lot of things that like i've really wanted but i have like almost 2000 i think points or something like that accumulated or something it may have been a thousand i'm not sure it was like something like a thousand fifteen hundred something i don't know just had a lot of points so i saw this 500 um point um perk and i decided to go ahead and get it this is the clinique one and i wanted to try out some of this stuff anyway so i figured this would be just a a bomb set to try out so this one right here comes with a mascara which is the chubby lash fattening mascara it comes with a cleansing um take the day off cleansing balm it then also comes with a clinique pop of color um or no this one is the pop of color the clinique pop of color um primer and then it comes with a lipstick in here which is an almost lipstick so i'm super excited to try these out and just see how it works um you know on my face or on my lips you know i wanted to try out the chubby mascara anyway and i wanted to try out the cleansing balm so i feel like this was a great 500 perk you get four items and you can like test all this stuff out and see if you really like it so with that being said gems that has been my sephora haul i didn't get too much i didn't go overboard i didn't go too crazy you know i just picked up a couple little things here and there you know but if you guys are enjoying these um hauls or these types of videos definitely thumbs this video up i will see you guys in another video and like i always say gems it's not about how much it costs it's how you apply it so keep doing your thing and stay beautiful Mwah. bye gems